welcome to 2023 what's up so i wanted to do a video on um how to start a hair business or how to get into the hair business um for the girls that wanted to start a business i wanted to always know how to do it but everybody want to charge you i'm gonna give it to you for free so friend let's get started first thing you're gonna need a pen pad and a paper okay a pen pad and a pen get it now put the put the video on pause Go get your paper and get this pen so I can run it down to you real, real, real quick. So anyway, let's start here. Um, I'm going to try to run through this within 20 minutes. I have a few numbers down. So we're going to start off with the first thing you're going to need. First thing you're going to need is WhatsApp. Go ahead, download WhatsApp. I put that as number three, but I'm going to go ahead and just say you're going to need WhatsApp. So go ahead and download WhatsApp. Get you a WhatsApp phone number. Write it down. Put it in your notes. Make sure you know what it is. Thing number two you're going to need, friend. You're going to need to know what kind of hair that the vendor has and what kind of hair do they sell. So, like, what kind of hair you want to sell. They have stuff like uh, Malaysian, Vietnamese hair. They have 12A, 12B kind of hair. I don't know about none of that. I sell Brazilian hair. That's what they told me it's called, and that's what I'm selling, okay? Yeah. So, boom, you need to know what kind of hair you want to sell. Um, Vietnamese hair, I heard it's something new, and it's thick, it's full, and all that other stuff. Um, Malaysian, Cambodian, just, just look up some videos and choose which hair you want to sell, okay? Which hair you think you like the look of. Okay, so number two, where do you find a vendor? I will not give you my vendor for the simple fact of I sell hair. And I don't want you selling the same hair I sell, okay? But my vendor is on Alibaba, just like all the other vendors, okay? If you don't know what Alibaba is, I'm going to put the name right here on the screen. Download the app and look up the hair name. So if you want to sell Malaysian, Asian hair, any kind of hair, type in that kind of hair. Put uh, Cambodian hair. And all the vendors will pop up. That is where you will find your vendors um, for cheap. I mean, it'll pop up for free. And, you know, and they'll outsource. They'll have their phone number and stuff on there. Um, also, I found a couple of vendors on uh, Instagram. But that's only if you want to look on Instagram. Instagram is kind of, you know, <clears throat> it's not a place to find a vendor. But they have Instagrams. So, like, if you download Alibaba... Um, most of those hair vendors will have their Instagram on there and they also will have their WhatsApp name. So you can text them or you can go look at pictures on Instagram. They also have pictures and videos on Alibaba. I know you don't know how to use it because it's, it's new to you, but it's new to me too and I didn't know how to use it, but I got to look through the pictures. Um, so yeah, number three was WhatsApp. Number four, um, once you get their WhatsApp name, you can also message them on Alibaba and Instagram. Um, most likely if they have an Instagram, they have their WhatsApp number on it. Um, so that's what I would tell you to do. Get that number, text it. When you text them, you say, hello, my name is, and can I have the pricing for, and you list all the pricing things. So I'm going to tell you what you need to list. Okay. Cause you need to list all this. You need to choose if you're going to sell raw or virgin hair. Raw hair is way better than virgin. Raw hair is unprocessed. They haven't put it through straightening treatments. Uh, they haven't colored it. They haven't did none of that, none of the extra stuff to it. Virgin hair does not last as long. It gets really stringy. Um, so you need to know if you want to sell that or not. However, virgin hair is way cheaper than raw hair. Okay. So ask them for pricing for samples, raw hair, and virgin hair if they sell all three. Um, some companies don't sell raw hair. Some companies do. Mention, raw hair is a better quality hair. It's unprocessed. It's, it's new to this. So samples, raw hair, and virgin hair pricing. Also, you need to add on under that. I need pricing for bundles, for tape ends, 50 and 100 grams, eye tips i don't know if you're gonna sell eye tips you probably don't even need that but listen tape ends 50 grams to 100 grams you need pricing on wigs slash units i don't know what they call it i call it units uh you need pricing for wigs and which kind of wigs you need pricing on a 360 closure wig you need pricing on uh closure wigs you need pricing on frontal units uh you need pricing on 
uh how many bundles is it you know because some of them have like two bundles in a wig three bundles in a wig so get that pricing also you need pricing on closures and frontals hd and uh what's the other one called transparent hd and transparent frontals and closures because most of the people that order from you are gonna want a closure or a frontal because that's the thing um also ask for how much does it cost per piece so for my vendor they have a category they have one to four pieces this is the pricing for one to four pieces they have five to nine pieces this is the pricing for five to nine pieces and then they have a 50 and up range which if you buy 50 bundles plus this is what you'll get the pricing for so let me run some of my pricing down to you so what i got pulled up is the tape ends so for one to four pieces of tape ends it's going to be for 14 inches it's going to be 31 dollars and 60 cents okay for 20 inches it's going to be 62 dollars per piece um and this is for the 50 gram set so usually people use uh 300 to 400 grams in their hair so you will have to multiply this by four so you would have to do 62 times four 62 plus 62 is what 124 124 plus 124 is um 148 i mean 248 yeah 248 so you will pay for a whole amount 248 dollars for two for for four bundles of i mean yeah four bundles of 20 inches um they go all my my vendor go all the way up to 30 my other vendor goes all the way up to 50 inches so from the 5 to 49 pieces for 14 inches you will pay 10 dollars less it'll be 21 dollars and 60 cent per piece 21 dollars and 60 cent per piece for 20 inches you will pay 52 dollars per piece see for the one to four you will pay 62 dollars which that's a ten dollars difference so you will save ten dollars on each one so you'll save forty dollars for 50 and up for 14 inches you will pay seventeen dollars and eighty cent per piece you see how much cheaper it is now look at the three prices you see how much cheaper it is if you buy a bulk for 20 inches you will pay forty six dollars and eighty cent and for uh 30 inch you will pay seventy three dollars per piece um for a one to four you will pay 88 dollars per piece so this is just letting y'all know how much cheaper it is when you buy more so that's going to be for the 50 gram sets um for tape ins for me so with that being said let's move on to the next okay number five ask for patterns ask for what kind of patterns do they sell do they sell straight do they sell kinky curly, kinky straight? Do they sell curly? Do they sell deep wave? Do they say, say, uh, sell body wave? Ask those questions because you need to know all. Sometimes when they send you the listing, they're going to send you the listing first. On the listing at the bottom, it'll have the initials. So it'll have ST, KS. ST stands for straight. KS stands for kinky straight. DW stands for uh, deep wave. BW stands for body wave i uh i see stands for italian curly they have all different types of patterns so make sure you write that down number six you are going to ask what kind of colors do they sell um because most of them just sell black hair which is off off black which would be 1b they'll sell it to you 1b people usually have to color their hair um and most people want 613 like it's a lot of people that ask for 613 hair so make sure you ask what colors do you sell because you don't want to have to buy the black hair and then sell it to your person and just tell them i don't sell blonde hair they may sell blonde hair so 613 comes in raw i don't think it comes in virgin but it comes in raw hair which means it'll last longer so ask for that pricing also 613 and also my vendor sells two-tone hair so it'll have uh strips of a different color in the hair i don't really sell that because if you want to color your hair get them to do it um so you can ask for that and they'll also send you a listing on that next page i hope y'all writing this down because you're gonna need to know this number seven is shipping cost okay x how much is shipping 
for me for a small amount i usually buy four bundles to six bundles it costs 45 dollars for them to ship that hair to me 45 dollars so remember if your hair is 62 dollars a bundle and you're ordering a certain amount of bundles do the 62 times however many bundles you're ordering times the shipping fee which is like 45 dollars if you're ordering a small amount and then you also have to add on the service fee, which is PayPal, uh, who the, whoever they work with, okay? So remember, bundles, add your bundles up, plus your shipping costs, plus the service fee, okay? Um, number eight, who do they ship through? Who do they, who do they, who are they shipping with? Um, usually most, most brands ship with FedEx, UPS, uh, and DHL. I can't remember the other one, but let me say this. I live in a three story building. Every time they ship through FedEx, FedEx does not bring my stuff up to my door. They will not come up to this third floor. I usually like to use DHL cause DHL is way faster. They, my hair gets here two days quicker. I don't know how they do it. Maybe because they're smaller, a lot of people don't know about them or whatever. But DHL, way faster. I'm putting you on, okay? So if they ship through FedEx, DHL, always ask for DHL shipping. If you like FedEx, ask for FedEx. But DHL's faster, okay? I'm just, I'm just trying to put you in the door. Okay, number nine. Ask how do they take payments? How do they take payments? Do they take it through wire transfer? Do they do uh, mm, invoices? Do they do PayPal? Do they do Alibaba? Do they do Western Union? All, all of those my vendor does. She does all of those. So the best one I say is Western Union. Western Union charges you uh, 5 to $12 to ship to them. Depends on how fast you want it to get there or if, if it's a special whatever. I think it charges $11 for out the country. So, Western Union charges $11. That's only if they'll do Western Union with you. So, they might say, no, we don't do Western Union. So, then you have to work with whoever they have. They do PayPal. PayPal charges like 8 let me see, $12 to $22, $26. It goes up the bigger the order. Listen, PayPal charges a lot. So, see how much it is. Say, like, hey, can you price me on Alibaba? Can you price me on PayPal? Can you price me on all three and so I can see which one is cheaper? Because you want to keep your money. You want to keep your money, okay? So, do the price and check with that. How do they take payment? Make sure you ask that. Because um, all of them come with a fee. They, it all costs the ship to send them the money. Um next do they ship to customers for you when i'm when you ask this some of uh the vendors they'll make wraps for around your bundles they'll make the wrapping for you like with your logo and all that on it they'll do that for an extra four dollars or whatever um and then see if they have boxes that you can ship your orders in so that you don't have to get it shipped to you they can ship it directly to your customers that is very convenient, okay? I know a lot of people didn't tell you that, but they do that, okay? So, ask about that. They might have bags. They may have boxes. Uh, they may uh, they may have all ki kinds of things. They'll send you all that. Like, okay, well, we do this. We do that. We do logos. We do this. So, ask them if they do that. And do they do they if they do do that, then you can get it shipped straight from them to your customer. So, it don't have to come to you. Because for me, I send it, I send it, I get it straight to me, but that makes it longer on how long my customer can get it. So if they have to ship it to me, it could take three to five business days. And then for them to ship, for me to ship it to my person, I always do overnight shipping. It takes an extra two days. So it takes a week, a week and a half, a week or a week and a half for them to get it. The only reason I'm saying, uh, that is because you need to know that. That's something like the person that told me they listened didn't tell me. I want y'all to know this type of stuff. So ask if they ship to customers and also do they make tags and boxes. Um, unless you want to be real personal and get the stuff sent to you and then you can make your own box. You know how people like to spray their boxes and add all this nice stuff in it. Add their car, add a little piece or something like 
a edge brush or, or, or a band. If you want to do that, get it shipped to your house. Um, Alibaba also sells boxes and tags for like your orders and stuff. For cheaper, the bigger the uh, amount, the cheaper the price of each thing is. So remember that. Um, number 12, add up your order. Okay, add up how much your order is going to cost. So I want you to do a small order, place a small order. Well, that's my number 13. Number 13 is place a small order with them. When you do, when you place that small order, you can see how long it's going to take for that shipment to get to you. That's how you know your length of how long is this going to take to get to me and how long will it take to get to my customer? So then you can put that uh, on your site if you're going to make a site on your site for when you sell hair. So um, my shipment usually take three to five days. So I could place it on a Monday. I'll get it by Thursday or Friday. That's only if my person, they is taking, you know, they like, okay, I'll do it right now. But sometimes they'll ship it out the next day. I won't get it till Saturday or Monday. So if you're getting it shipped to you, just know how long it takes. Because as you can see, some of them sites say it could take seven to 12 business days. You want to know the amount of time so you can give yourself a little leeway. You get what I'm saying? <clears throat> um, express shipping. Uh, know how much it costs to send to somebody for express shipping or for regular shipping or overnight shipping. Um, for me, I think it was like, oh, for overnighting it, I think it was like 15 to 20 something dollars. It depends on how much you put in there. Um, I shipped through USPS. So it was it was pretty quick. They got it the next day, but it cost a pretty penny. So you can know how much to charge your customers for that. Uh, what I was going to say, and when you do a small order, make sure that you put, um, um, you can do one of each thing. But when you get it, I need you to curl it. I need you to wash it. I need you to know how this hair works. So get it. Bring it in, take pictures of it. Take a picture of it, get you a blank, uh, not a paper, but like a blank sheet. Get a get a cover, a blanket. Put it on your floor. Make it straight, flat, you know, iron it, something. Put your bundle on there and take pictures of it. As it came, as it came, take pictures of it. Uh, take pictures by each pattern. This is all your patterns. Take a picture of one bundle every time, each bundle, one, one, one by themselves and then you can take a picture of all of them together then i will need you to wash those bundles okay because you need to know how it's going to look afterwards um after you wash it i need you to curl it um my bundles my raw bundles i don't have to put nothing in them they stay silky looking they curl all they always hold a curl because then you can tell your people oh this holds a curl for this long or this holds a curl for this long. Um, this hair starts to shed. Do it shed a lot. You should always put minimum shedding. Do not put no shedding because that is a lie. And you want to just be up front. It's very minimum shedding. You barely see it. I mean, I about one or two strands, three at the most. That sounds average. That is regular. So that's what you want to make sure you put down there. Um, also, yes, sir. Um, also, um, if you have any questions to ask me, drop your question down at the bottom and I'll answer it for you because no question is a dumb question. Most likely somebody else have the same question as you. So <clears throat> I went to go over the pricing. So we seen that 30 inch cost is $73 for the 50 grams. If I order four of those 50 grams, that's going to be 200 grams. <laughs> so 73 times four equals 292. So if I want 300 grams, I have to add two more 73s. And then I would have to add $45 for shipping if I'm just ordering that. And then I would have to add um, the price of Western Union or the price of PayPal. PayPal may charge me $22. So I'm going to put $22. This is how much I'll be costing for a small order. This is how much it will cost for 30 inches. Uh, three bundles. Well, it's not three bundles. It's three tape-ins. But it's three bundles. Three bundles that's made into tape-ins. Um, three tape-in bundles um, to get to me. It will be $505. How much do you think I will charge the customer? How much do you think I'll charge them? 
Yeah. So what I would charge the customer is about six hundred and twenty dollars. Six hundred and twenty dollars. I think that's a great price. Thirty inches is very long. Um, people usually pay three hundred and some dollars. I mean, six hundred and some dollars for twenty some twenty some inch hair. You can make your your money worth. I always say add a add a hundred dollars on whatever the pricing is. Whatever it's gonna cost you to to buy it, add a hundred dollars because not only is it gonna cost you for them to send you money to buy to buy the hair, it's gonna cost you to ship it out to them. So if they want it overnighted or if they want to expedite it, you got to charge them even more. Okay, for expedient shipping, it's going to be an extra $20. I'll get it to you within four days. They can be like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I need it by this weekend. So four days, cool, cool, cool. Add $100 on it. So then that's your profit, $100. <clears throat> so um, what I'm also going to tell you is when you get your taxes, order over 50 bundles of hair. Order over 50. Get fifty. Get uh get four of each length if you can, cause it's uh fourteen through thirty. Let me see, fourteen through thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that is nine. Let me see. So fifty divided by nine. That'll be six bundles a piece, which is great. So if we did that, I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take eighty eight times fifty four thousand four hundred dollars. That's for you to invest into your hair company. Or um, I can't really tell you the business side of it because I don't know all the ins and outs of it. But if you get an LLC, I know you can get a business loan um, for ten thousand. Take that business loan, get get your bundles. Um, so you can have a couple on hand. Also, also, if you can go get, um, a photo shoot done with your hair, you can go buy some outfits, some makeup for your models. Uh, yeah, business loan. So that's what I recommend. Um, if y'all have any other questions, drop them below. Um, if you want to make, if you want, if, um, if I get enough questions, I'll make a part two. Um, yeah, let's start off this 23, 2023 shaking it. Let's get some money. Okay. I can't wait to see y'all do this. Peace and chicken grease.